so apart from that there was a time when a lot of fuss was created about starting antibiotics in atherosclerosis why did yes. it die out why did it die out that is because uh, you know people thought that there is some you know infection h pylori is responsible for certain things and basically it was all inflammation and they thought that this was infection and one should use some antibiotics like doxycycline or erythromycin to treat that but eventually it was found that events are not significantly reduced and no significant advantage was seen so that is why that has gone out of vogue you know uh, as far as atherosclerosis treatment is concerned so coming back to the diet what is the current role of diet in reducing ldl cholesterol apart from statins that means if i start a statin bring the ldl to less than 70 then can i reduce the dose of statins over a period of time i would say no we should not reduce the dose of statin because uh, unless somebody has followed the lifestyle measures in a very rigorous way you know like coming back to ideal weight and following the dietary instructions as per requirements of his age gender and level of physical fitness and the lipid profile you know one should try not to reduce the dose of statin especially in those who have already suffered from a coronary or an atherosclerotic event or those who have diabetes or you know they are at very high risk of developing coronary events or atherosclerotic event they should continue with a high dose of statin for long periods of time uh, unless as i said before that somebody has followed the lifestyle modification very rigorously the blood pressure is absolutely in control and uh, you think that the weight has been lost so one can give a trial of slight reduction in the dose but certainly it should not be that you bring it down from let's say 40 milligrams a day to 10 milligrams a day simply because you have seen an ldl of 55. i have several patients on my follow-up whose ldl cholesterols today are between 25 and 35 and i have not reduced the dose of statin unless it goes below 25 in which case you need to repeat the ldl level in the next few weeks time and if the second reading is also like that then one can think of reducing the dose a little bit but otherwise probably one it is advantageous to continue if the patient is tolerating 